the first first time I visited LA, uh-huh. I ended up meeting Kevin Hart. Kevin? Yeah. What up? Shout out to Kevin Hart. When they was, you know, when they was starting the Laugh Network, they yeah, was yeah, meeting yeah. people, mm-hmm. and I had um, seen them, and that was my first time coming out here, and that was like crazy because I ain't never like been in a situation like that coming from where I come from. I'm right. from Cleveland and the East Side, so I never met nobody like that. So the first time when I visited out here, um, I think I went up there with Tony. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tony, oh, I went up there with Tony. I was like, damn. At Heartbeat Studio. Yeah. Y'all were shooting hoops and everything, huh? No, we weren't shooting hoops. Oh, okay. I'd be up there shooting hoops. Anyway, uh, sorry, a little, little clout plug. <laughs> <laughs> they got one of them games. You just be shooting. You get oh. the... Anyway, so. Um, oh, you got the plug? Neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> so. Interesting. Were you? Did you bug out when you saw him, or were you just like, "Yo, he's right there"? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't like, but I don't think I. But if so I you, bug out, you pretty even kill. Like, there's nobody that's really gonna make you bug out. Certain people, like I would. Is uh, there certain people I would want to meet? Because I want to just okay. talk to them. Like, like I would want to pick their brain. Who? Like, I got this picture I got made, and it got like Dave Chappelle, Childish Gambino, J Cole, and Eddie Murphy. Wait, dude, that's, that's pretty. You gotta that's slow cool. down. That's some greats. Dave Jacob. Chappelle. Yeah, Dave Chappelle. Uh-huh. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Childish Gambino. Donald Glover. And J. Cole. So you so this is three comedians and one rapper. Well, Childish Gambino, like, mixed. Yeah. That's why I said both names. But people don't yeah. a lot of people still can't even connect the dots that that's the same. Oh, he, yeah, yeah, Donald Glover. Yeah, they yeah. thinking, oh, he's he a writer, he, actor, they comedian. They don't know. They're like, he to do that same rap bomb. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's Donald Glover. He got comedy specials and yeah. he got albums. Yeah, he that's got, that's why he on the list because he multi talented and he just can do so much. And he don't. I don't think he really care what people say because like, no, nah, he clearly don't care. You can't care. I think you become better artists when you don't care. When you worry too much about what people think. Because you one, you can't please everybody. No. Nope. I can give five million dollars to kids at this school district and then they be like, Well, what about these kids and these kids and mm-hmm. these kids? It's like Well, it ain't even about how you, you can do give back because of course people are gonna feel a certain way, but you can literally look at a painting and say, That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and be standing next to somebody that's going, That's the ugliest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, it's all about perception. That's it. But yeah, once you release that and you release to give a fuck, once you once you stop giving, it is a hard. Fuck, that's the hard. You that's gotta hard to stop giving. A fuck. And I don't yeah, mean I, I don't mean just like disrespect your yeah, elders. No, but, but once like, you <laughs> stop giving a fuck and put creation first, mm-hmm. that's when you really open up. Yeah, and that's why we'd be so mad when critics be ripping through specials and comedy specials and comic sets and stuff. It's like it's first of all, it's objective. So how can mm-hmm. you act like as a critic, you got the final voice Especially on comedy? It. Like let them. Work it. Mm-hmm. Let them say the things. And it may rub you a certain way, but ain't that the whole point? Mm-hmm. Anyway, so for me, uh, I kind of pride myself on never having really, like, bugged out. Like, I've been in the mm-hmm. space with, say, like a Russell Simmons mm-hmm. and was just cool. And and he respected that. Mm-hmm. But uh, one night I did his comedy show when it was at the, uh, man, the Chinese Theater. Mm-hmm. And uh, I did a set and I rocked out. And uh, it was a good set. And... Um, I, I think it was the one. I got a standing ovation in there. And I'm not mm-hmm. saying that to brag. I'm just saying it, it's relevant no, to the story. Brag. That's good. So I come out to the lobby mm-hmm. and I'm like shaking hands. And people are like, yo, you're the only person who's done that here. I think me and Brent Riley were the only ones that had done it. Brent Riley. And I turn to my right and I, I actually step and I feel, it don't feel like floor. Mm-hmm. And I hear, ow. I just stepped on somebody. And as a big nigga, like, I've experienced this before. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, <laughs> Ooh, I really got a hold of him. Like, sometimes you just kind of, like, graze the motherfucker. No, mm. I had, like, at least three toes under my full weight. Mm. I got up off of it quick, and I turned and looked dead. I mean, closer than we are right now, mm. Sanai Lathan. My breath was like, I'm out. Okay. <laughs> right? I was like, oh, shit. Hello. I'm so, Oh, I'm sorry, right? She was like... Ooh, that hurt. You, ooh, that hurt. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Mind you, that's literally my lifetime crush. crush. Oh, mm. my gosh. So, Nye Lathan? I fucking love her. And I stepped on her. And uh, she was like, you were funny. <laughs> and then she walked off. And that's it. And I was like, damn. Please don't remember me. Like, I don't want, <laughs> I want her to know me. You're a funny guy that stepped on me. That's what I don't want. <laughs> I never want that. You know what I'm saying? Senior movie, great. 
<laughs> fuck that guy. He steps on people. So yeah, yeah the she, fucking guy. But that I just needed a warning. Me. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. I just needed to be like, oh, so I come in, so I can be like, oh. <clears throat> And get my little shit together. You but, know what I'm saying? But luckily, you did your thing and she loved it. Man, because, yeah, it could have been a then rough you set. Yeah, you would have been looking at her probably like, damn, but she laughed. Yeah, she'd be like, nigga, you bombed it and you stepped on me. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. Hell no. Nah. Get the car. So I remember a long time ago, I don't know if we're allowed to talk about it, but there was this birthday party for Kyrie. Mm. And we were both there and mm. it was late. Mm. And it was, cr- I mean, it was cracking. It was one of them parties where they take your phone. Mm. Like, ain't going to be no documentation, okay? <laughs> And half the NBA was in this party. Mm. Guys that you thought were enemies, people that were on other teams, they in there uh, <laughs> hitting a soldier boy together. Not that, <laughs> not that it was that long ago, but mm. I remember mm. that um, like halfway through the party, LeBron James walked in. Mm. And that did something to you. I don't care what oh, you yeah. say. You try to act like you didn't care, but you from Cleveland. Yeah, it was just surprising. Because I... I mean, I probably knew he was going to be there, but I'm at the bar. probably ball. knew he was going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just played out here or something, too. But yeah, they played. Yeah, they played out here. But then I went, but I was at the bar. I'm about to give me a little drink. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then he literally pulled up right by me. <laughs> Boom. I'm looking up. I'm like. Yeah, he up there. I ain't say nothing. You I did? Trying to, no, I, ain't, I don't be like in the say nothing. It's like, what's good? I'll probably say, what's up? Right. But it was like. I bet he's used to, I bet he's used to dudes just being like, drink. Ron, what up? You know what I'm but I wasn't staring. Because you know how some people would just stare. Like, right. It's just rude. He's like, hello? <laughs> yeah. It's like, you're a fan, aren't you? Like, what's good? Worst nightmare would be you meet him and uh, you look and he's like, oh, you the little funny nigga, right? And then he do some shit like that to your head. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's like. <laughs> hey, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> you a legend, but you <laughs> that will blow. But it's like, could you get mad? You could, cause it's like I'm Hell a, yeah. I'm a I'm like, nigga, I'm a LeBron James gave me a noogie. I'm not happy about that. They don't be noogie in me, bro. It's like I'm grown. I'm don't be noogie in me, bro. Man. Just cause you big. Like it's a different. If it's a kid, or, you know, kids. <laughs> He been big his whole life. I saw a picture of him sitting on the bench with his high school teammates, and he looked like a grown ass man then. So he was just destined for this. Yeah, but so don't be noogie in other grown men. He could have been signing people. And I'm already little. You feel me? That's why I need to gain weight because if I have a family, ain't nobody. I'm not intimidated. Somebody might beat me up in front of my kids. Shh, you got to shoot them. Because your kids going to be like, Dad, you wasn't talking all that shit when that dude will be your ass. If you lose that? in front of your kids. Nah, you can't. People, you like got to get in your car and drive When I get in person. shape. Y'all gonna be like, damn, why he transformed for my kids? <laughs> for my kids. For my That's children. A, I'll be down. If the nigga hit me with a noogie in public like that, even in private, I would jump up <laughs> and land on his foot. Sanai Lathan style. <laughs> <laughs>